Well, U.S. officials confirm Iran has launched dozens of drones towards Israel, and now Israeli airspace in Tel Aviv's one of their airports have been closed. President Biden making it clear that America's support for Israel's security is unwavering. Here's ABC with more. In the middle of the night, drones streaked across the sky over the Holy Land. Israel's military defense is in overdrive to respond to an unprecedented attack by Iran, which the IDF says launched more than 200 drones from inside Iran, as well as from proxies in Iraq, Syria, and southern Lebanon. A U.S. official tells ABC News the targets were military bases, including one that housed F-35 fighter jets. ABC's Britt Klenet described what she saw. About an hour ago, we were seeing trails of of orange, these orange flashes in the sky, and then the thud of Israel's air defense in action. And it, it almost sounded like thunder. Uh, there was at least a dozen projectiles in all directions behind me. After the drones launched, Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei said the evil regime will be punished. President Biden cut short his weekend trip to Delaware, returning to the White House Saturday afternoon to huddle with his national security team. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the country's vaunted Iron Dome missile defense system was ready for the onslaught. We are prepared for any scenario, he added, both in defense and attack. Whoever hurts us, he vowed, we hurt him. According to a U.S. official, American forces shot down some of the Iranian drones headed toward Israel. The U.S. military was already increasing its presence in the Middle East, adding troops, ships, and aircraft to protect assets already in the region. At the United Nations, Iran said the U.S. must stay away, claiming its attack on Israel was conducted as a legitimate defense in response to Israel's attack on the Iranian embassy in Syria earlier this month. Even though no Israeli citizens appear to have been killed in this attack, a source tells ABC News U.S. officials believe Israel will be forced to respond to Iran and that Iran would be the target of that response, meaning yet another escalation in a region already thick with tension. Josh Oniger, ABC News, Jerusalem.